What did you yeah. see early on that made you feel this way about stand up? You know who really did Cat Williams? That nigga a fool right there. Did you see him fighting a little 15 year old boy? <laughs> that yeah, nigga, don't play with me. Cat. Or you can get your dumb ass moved the fuck out my way, little boy. Oh, what's up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about the first spark. It was such a beautiful <laughs> moment I was about to describe to it. You like, yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. <laughs> <laughs> they gon' know you in a minute, though, because they know how you feel now about it. Yeah. So they ain't like, that's so good to see it that on Boss Talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, that's okay. I'm in my dress room. Stay in yours. <laughs> I mean, I've been vocal about it. So you really, no, no, you really, you, you, you're you dope to be able to even understand how to live in both worlds, you know. How yeah. hard was it when you first got, did I miss that part? Did you talk about how hard it was when you first got on the stage already? The hardest part was how having like somewhat of a following online or like especially in the comedy world a lot of people watch the comedy sketches I did on on death so when I walk in they're like yo I see you on your yo you mad funny and I'm like dang like this is my third time on stage so I gotta like you have an expectation of me being this level and I'm like so I didn't get to practice in silence like a lot of comedians get to for a few years I from the very beginning was like people being like oh I've seen you before oh I da, da, da. especially other comedians or people who right. know comedy so I'm just well, like yeah. Car Carlos Miller said something that was so live and so dope he said mm -hmm. why would you being that you a person that do you know internet based stuff whether it be skits or whatever why would you come into this world mm -hmm. and to the people who know you like they know you and change it and try to do something else other than what you do yeah. If you on the internet and you can sell out a show from being on the internet, why the fuck would you sell out the show, get to the show, then do some completely different shit that made you sell out the show? Are you crazy? I get it, I get it. If I was on the internet making skits, right, and yeah. they put me on stand-up comedy shows and expecting me to do stand-up comedy, I'm coming out on stage with my motherfucking phone <laughs> and we finna shoot sketches, bitch. We finna do a big ass sketch. I need everybody over here to put <laughs> these t-shirts on boy, no. and y'all put these t-shirts on. I'm finna walk back out here and when I come back, I need y'all to do this and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna put this shit together. And by the time we finish this shit, I'm gonna have it on my social media tonight. Good night. Tag yourself going viral again all them niggas with them boring ass jokes can kiss my dick bring the next nigga up mm -hmm. and I thought that was so dope because he said you he would come in take a selfie do the stuff he do with that crowd because that crowd is coming to see him and be himself if, that's what, they that, if, if that's what they come that. to see you know if what I mean if you want to do improv I think you know it would be fun for me too to do some improv shows and stuff yeah. like that but that kind of goes tie into like doing what you do on Wild and Out but like no I want to do stand up like some people who are digital creators actually want to do stand up, grew up watching stand up and they mm -hmm. want to do that. So it's like, no, I'm not going to just do that and just the world can know me for one thing, playing a crazy girlfriend in a sketch, but I have a million things I could talk about and I'm not about to just be online doing sketches, so I don't agree. <laughs> like, Damn, no. I like that. She went a different way with it. Yeah. She wants to be, Faison would like her. Mm -hmm. Because she wants to really get on with what he does and that stand up. Who did you yeah. see early on that made you feel this way about stand up? You know who really did Cat Williams. That nigga a fool right there. Did you see him fighting a little fifteen year old boy? <laughs> that yeah, was nigga, don't play with me. Cat. Or you can get your dumb ass moved the fuck out my way, little boy. Oh, what's up? No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, nigga, don't try to play. I bring it all Aston. up over here. I was talking about the first spark. It was such a beautiful moment I was about to describe to it. You like, yeah, like that. Yeah, I bring it all the way in. When he was in Philly, you jumped at the meeting. Like so, what did you like about um, it? No, like when I really, I would say like Pimp Chronicles. It was just like the time it came out, and the age I was. It was like one of the first specials I watched and I understood and I just like for the first time it was like oh comedy is a thing and certain people can do it because it was just I don't know it just clicked in my mind of like stand up comedy people do can take a thought and turn it into a whole joke and it's like things that I never thought before he's making me laugh at like it was just like something just went off in my head like oh comedy like mm. people do this this is a gift this is a real thing that like you do, but the more I watch him and I see him, the more I'm like, oh, he's still calculated with it. 
now knowing how people do jokes and do stuff. But back then, it just looked like magic. It looked like a magic trick. And you're right. like, I want to be a magician, like, you know? But now I can see, like, oh, he set it up like this, and he took it here. I could see the bone structure behind the jokes. But it's still, it's still amazing to me. I still love it. But, like, yeah, Cowboy okay, well, was the first person. He's a Virgo, too. He's a very competitive person. Big Court came on here and told about a basketball game <laughs> that they played and uh, for a chopper. Mm. Yeah, and and basically he lost, and then he tried to kill Big Court. Yeah. Y'all went one yeah. to eleven. Yeah, we were when you hit eleven. Look, look, Listen. you you. What was it? Was it a layup or was it a jumper? Nah, nah. I, po I posted him up. You know wow, what I'm saying? Wrong, I, I used the man. body look, on him. Because, you know, he got the speed. Cat cat fast. You know, he so, one of them quick little niggas. So, so yeah. you, 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 you posted him up and gave him. I posted it. him up. I oh, had to give him. I mean, man. you got to think. I'm 100 pounds heavier than him. I'm a foot and a half taller than him. You know, so I told him what was going to happen. I could you know? only a foot and a half. Huh? Only yeah. a foot and a half. Yeah, about yeah. a foot and a half. He just, he walking the nigga to the goal. Yeah. Just walking walked him, him to down. the goal. I Walked him down and hit, and we were playing. Think about it, we were playing for Desert Eagles, bro. Playing for guns. <laughs> <laughs> and so once I beat him, I told him, I said, "Man, you can keep your little raggedy gun." And he, yeah, he went ballistic on me, bro. <laughs> what? So you you think I'm making this up? You know what I mean? Big Court came down here from California. He flew in and he told me. I just me, think he has a lot of energy. I think he's so good at right coming. He's such extra energy he to do extra stuff. 80 miles by hour, 100 miles by hour, boom, and totaled this truck I tried to kill my boy. Um, I say about two or three minutes later, I just see headlights just coming fast as hell in the in the uh, rearview mirror. And yeah, I didn't know that it was, that it was an Escalade. I thought it was that Bentley because it was coming so fast. Yeah. And it just, I thought they were gonna come on side of me and they just just ran into the back of me. And it was just like a gust of smoke. My ears start ringing, you know, and the car the airbag almost, didn't go off? Nope, the airbag didn't go off. That nigga thug, wow. man, yeah, Cat man. Williams, dang uh, trying yeah. to hear I it, never man. knew it was him. No, no, I this never nigga knew here, it was boy, him. This wild and, so but when did this you find wild. out? <laughs> so, so, well, so what happened was, I so, you know, my survival instincts kicked in. I said, okay, it's dark out here. Let me keep going. So yes, I kept going. The car was, and so it was another car that came. Oh, man. You know, and so, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So at that to, point, you had to let them know, I, nigga, I, I, back, exactly. off, back up, back exactly. up, back up. So I had to get them up off of me. And so. Why, um, did, why did the car behind you go? Did it stop? Well, no, nah, they came up. It was it was some cats. They was trying no, I'm to get talking about the when, he, when he hit you. you. Yeah, because he totaled it. He told it he done. had to stop right there. It was there. done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looked like he hit a train. This is what somebody told me. They yeah. said, man, the front of it looked like he hit a train. You got to live your life. You got to <laughs> tell stories, you know? Like, no, this is what happened. You, you, you can look back at it. This is real talk. Did I say I didn't believe you? <laughs> like, I was like... I couldn't I believe it when he was it. telling me, like, what the hell? The nigga rear-ended him. Like, I'm going to play this clip in the middle because you know I am. Mm -hmm. He said the nigga rear-ended him and and because he beat him in a game of basketball. Now, the guy is about 6'3", six, 6'2", six, and Cat is how tall? About 5'4", 5'1", 5'0", 5 feet. So the nigga, five feet, the nigga five feet, five feet, feet, five feet, feet even. The nigga playing a 6'3", nigga, for a chopper. This made no sense to is me. Is he but still cool with Cat? No, they mm -hmm. fell out. Oh, he got on the thing and tried to be cool with him. At, the nigga tried to kill him. What, what, what Would you him? be cool with somebody who this, tried to do that to you? Why. No. Okay, no. Then. And this big court is Master P best friend. Right. So this is some real. He did a guest <laughs> episode on TMZ Hip Hop. Oh, so it makes sense now. I know exactly what you're talking about. Big court. I know exactly what you're talking about. He was a guest host on TMZ Hip Hop. That's funny. Yeah, him and Cat. It don't matter about that. He said Cat tried to kill. Him. That's funny. That's funny. That is not funny. No, it's not funny, but the, what's funny now is because I can picture who you're talking about, and I'm playing like, basketball against him. You try to do that to him. So this is this is the, the guy Hulk? that you you brought him this up. So Hulk. I wanted to try to figure out how to relate to Cat Williams. That's Whoa. what I got. Yeah, yeah. Well, at Pip Chronicles, I don't think that had happened yet. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.